students welcome back to our channel we are going to see one more exponential equations today solve for x x raised to x cubed equals 729 we need to solve for x from this challenging question let's try to solve this uh, okay what i'm going to do i'm going to cube both sides cubing both sides so the question will become x x cubed the whole cube equals 729 cubed now we know the product rule i mean power of power rule when there is more than one power like a power n raised to another power n in that case we will multiply the exponents like this so that is what we are having here we have the two powers x cubed and 3 according to the property i need to multiply them which will become x power 3 times x cubed is 3x cubed isn't it that is equal to 729 now again if i use this way round the other way round a power m times n i can write a power m the whole power n isn't it the same rule that is what i'm going to do now x power 3 now take it to the power x cubed equals 729 cubed let me repeat it as the first step i cubed the both sides so the question became x x cubed and to the power 3 right side 729 the whole cube 3 now i applied the power of power rule whenever there are more exponents with the same base we should multiply the exponents so a power m times n that is what i did i multiplied the 3 and x cube 3 x cubed now the same rule i can use even the right side can be replaced with the left side like this a power m times n can be right can be written as a power m to the power n that is what i did x power 3 to the power x cube this multiplication i split as power now again so what can i see here the base and the exponent same the base are also x cubed exponent also x cubed if i rewrite the right side same manner with same base and same exponent then solving will be much easier for me that is what i'm going to do let's continue on the right side x cubed the whole power x cubed equals 729 is a cube of some number 9 9 times 9 times 9 is 729 so i can replace 729 with 9 cubed and there is another 3 exponent 3 let me write that as well so simplify the right side x cubed the whole power x cubed equals applying the same power of power rule written here 3 3 is our 9 because we will multiply the powers when it is with the same base 9 raised to 3 3 is our 9 now as you clearly see the right side also the base and the exponent same so we are getting in the form x cubed the whole power x cubed equals 9 power 9 which clearly says that this base x cubed is equal to the other base on the right side 9 so x cubed equal to 9 now i want only the value of x not x cubed what i can do i can cube root both sides or x will be cube root of 9 this is our final answer i hope you understand each and every step explained here 
let's do the checking part in the other page what is the question given x bar x bar 3 equal 729 i am taking the original uh, question itself not after cubing now i got x equal to cube root of 9 cube root of 9 the whole power cube root of 9 raised to the power 3 this should be equal to 729 let's check and uh, we can change this radical to fractional exponent like this 9 over 1 by 3 now 9 over 1 by 3 whole power 3 because we converted the radical form to exponent form this is the radical form whenever you want to convert to exponent the power this root will go to the denominator now multiply these two so using the power of power rule again I'm going to simplify the left side a raised to the power m to the uh, to the power n m times n let's do it from the outside the a part let's do this portion first now 9 raised to the power 1 by 3 times 3 so multiply these two exponent 1 third times 3 is simply 1 so 9 power 1 by 3 whole power 9 power 1 so I am not writing that exponent 1 now again to simplify this further multiply these two because using the same power of power rule multiply the exponents m times n same manner one time one third times 9 will be 9 over 3 which is equal to 3 so when I multiply these two I am getting 3 9 cubed 729 and we know very well 9 cubed is 729 729 equals 729 instead of the box I am using the equal to because I proved it already so our answer is correct this is how you can easily check your final answer in exams too ok students so I hope you understood the question completely see you in our next video with some other challenging question Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and share it with your friends. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.